Hi, welcome to another unit tutorial from Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this LM75A temperature sensor to display the temperature Celsius and Fahrenheit on this LCD1602 with I square C, which has only four wires. You can get the code for this project by clicking at the link at the description below, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. This module is offered in many ways. You can get a bare chip like that and solder it and use the wires. The, this code will work for it. Or maybe you can get something like this uh, pinkish color, uh, purple, or maybe you can get the blue, that the one that I have, or maybe you can get the red. All of these are the same, exact same thing, and we can use this code, use it. So this module can uh, measure from minus 55 to plus 125 degrees. You can monitor temperature and based off change in uh, temperature, you can take some action, for example, turning a relay on, turning a heater, turning a fan on or off, depending on the situation of that. And also, in the same time, you can monitor the temperature on this screen that will uh, show you um, for your project. A separate video explaining this fully with library and details of the code here. I'm not gonna explain it. And then I have an another video uh, explaining this module with the uh, I square C, the code and library for this and the link will be provided for the video for this and for this one. So you will try this code here and uh, you, it should work. If you're facing a uh, problem, then go back and make sure to run this code without this and you should be able to uh, read the temperature on a uh, serial monitor on your computer, then leave this and then run the code for this and make sure that to just print the text on this display. Once this works and this works, then come back and follow the instruction in this video and for sure this will work. This module will come or the other modules, whichever you pick, will come either soldered or not soldered. And then we have all these pens, ground VCC, and then we have SDA and SCL, this will be connected to A4, SCL will be connected to A5. The last pin is op, uh, OS, op over temperature shutdown, so you can communicate through uh, this I square C, send command and it will shut down, and also it can be used as an interrupt for different uh, purposes, but uh, when shutdown happens, it saves uh, the power significantly. And here for the wiring, a4 is connected at this point with a yellow and then A5 is connected here. From this temperature sensor, uh, SDA is connected to the yellow line, which is in the same line. So these lines are all connected and then for the white, these lines are connected. So this is clock or SCL. Now the same thing for this module, SDA, the green I've connected here, so green will be connected to SDA, to A4, which is yellow, and then the blue clock is connected to A5. And then we have uh, 5 volts and ground. And then we have five volts and ground connected here. Let me explain now the code. The first line here, this is the library. The link will be provided. You download and follow it. Once you include it, this will just work fine. This uh, section is, this is the instance of an uh, object from this class. We are creating it and we are using these false, false, false. In case if you're using the bare uh, module, selecting different address. So you will put a uh, change this accordingly, which I've explained it in the main video for this module. Otherwise, just leave it as is. And then this section is for LCD screen. So this is for I square C communication. This is the header, which the link will be provided in the code section. You can get and download that one or follow the main video. And this is a 16. Uh, character and two line. This is the address for I square C of this uh, module here. That is the address for this. 
So we create an object and uh, from this class. Uh, inside the setup, we initialize this uh, 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 serial monitor with 9600 baud. So this number must match the number that we have. And uh, you can bring the serial monitor by clicking at the tool and then serial monitor, it will be displayed. And this is just a text. We are initializing the LCD with the dot begin, setting the back backlight. Some module needs this to be turned on. So when you do that, and these are just a text to display on the LCD. From the loop, this is where everything happens. We clear the screen from the previous value. This loop goes like that. So anything is here, it will be refreshed or cleared. And then this line is getting the temperature and storing it here as a float. And then this line, F temperature degrees equal equal this value. This is a constant inside the library, which is set to 1000. This is uh, when the device gets error, it sends 1000 as an error. So this is an identification of an error and it will display this text. Otherwise, if the error is not true, if this value is not true, then we print this on the screen, which is, which is this one. And then we said, uh, print the actual temperature, which is this value. And then after that, we press uh, print the character C. This line, excuse me, this line is getting the Fahrenheit. So we are passing the degree Celsius to this function or method. And with the class and this will give us the Fahrenheit and we are storing it here as TMPF, temperature Fahrenheit. And then we print that on the screen on the temp um, serial monitor with a opening parenthesis and closing. So this is the opening of a parenthesis and this is the closing of the parenthesis here. And then this line, I've written the code here for this. This is a method that uh, is uh, for display. So this has two sections. This is the just the section for the text. This is the section for the value. So we, we set this character 0, line 0. At this point, this is line 0. That's line 1. So that's character 0. And we print the text, Celsius. And we count it. And then at the character 11, line 0. So it will be at this point. We print the temperature. Uh, so if you count this here, uh, one zero one two three four five six seven eight. So we have eight characters up to here, nine ten, and that's uh, eleven. That's why we have eleven and then zero. We print the temperature. We just read here. This is the actual temperature. Uh, so and then this section is CD display with this. It goes to line zero, ca uh, character zero, line one, and we print the Fahrenheit. Because this was too long, it did not fit. I just put here a dot to show that it has been shortened. And then we go character 11 and line 1, and we print the temperature F or Fahrenheit. And wait for 1000 milliseconds, and the loop continues like that and prints it for you. Thank you for watching. This was how to use this LM75A temperature sensor with this LCD1602 with I2C module. Uh, please subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos and also if you have comments or questions post it in the description below i'll try to answer and reply also uh, follow us on facebook the facebook link is also at the bottom of the description section of this video take care